me not a world so much as a big immersive snazzed out platform where you can buy anything you want and that's not such a new phenomenon why all the hype about this digital metaverse as the future of the internet i'm not sure what makes it a breakthrough yeah i think it's really hard to even envision it right now because there are so many companies having different ideas about it facebook for example invested years ago in its virtual reality platform for oculus quest and they're set to launch horizon which is basically a virtual world to explore play and create as they say and then, of course, there's Epic Games and Tim Sweeney. That's the guy behind Fortnite. Epic CEO Tim Sweeney warned that if one company ends up gaining control of the metaverse, it will become, quote, more <coughs> powerful than any government and be a god on Earth. Facebook dominates so much of the internet, right? Google and Facebook. It would behoove whatever company to build whatever next version of the internet might be to be in that position. So I think there's a lot of jockeying for that position right now. When Michael Lowinger, who's producing this two-way, was talking to me about this, you know, I always loved the idea of alternate worlds. His concern was that this idea, whether darkly conceived by Philip K. Dick or Neil Stevenson or gloriously imagined, simply becomes just another way to monetize us. I want to think that there is magic out there, but whenever these big platforms get hold of it, it's just kind of ick. That's kind of why I wrote that article uh, back in April, to sound a light alarm. For me, as someone who has worked for newspapers for the last 20 years, you know, I care very much about how people perceive the news, and if the media industry is about to be disrupted once again, Newspapers are still catching up to the current reality of the internet, right? So I fear for the media industry overall. And I absolutely share any fears about what this might look like and how much of it is an attempt to turn us into capital. We've had so many examples of this in recent years. I'm hoping, hoping this time that once the internet changes again, more people will at least be a little bit ready for it. Well, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Brooke. Gene Park.